Chris Gronkowski is a former NFL athlete. You know he played for the Colts, the Broncos, and of course the Dallas Cowboys. But today he is here as the founder of Ice Shaker. Okay, welcome. I was just telling you, this is not, this is an invention that I have needed like my whole life because the ice is always melting. So tell everybody what it is for those who aren't already fans. Absolutely. So after I was done playing the NFL, I came here to Texas, came back to Texas, and. Um, Realized it was really hot in the summer. I was going to the gym, I was bringing a plastic shaker, it would melt, sweat all over my clothes. I was making little sweat rings on the ground yes. at the gym. And finally I was like, I want something that will actually keep my drink cold but could also mix my powders up. So I went home that day, I looked for an insulated bottle that could actually blend and mix and easily be filled and cleaned. And there's just nothing out there. So I started what I called the ice shaker. Yeah, it, it did. It truly doesn't exist. I've had this same problem, and I'm so glad that you created it. So listen, you've gotten a lot of people involved, of course, your brother Rob, uh, Mark Cuban. How did that process go in, in terms of growth and getting them into it? Yeah, so it started as this crazy idea, and everyone's like, what are you thinking? And it started out of the upstairs of my house, and I was shipping out on the, on the weekends and doing whatever I could to get this thing started. Pretty soon, I had sales. Uh, pretty soon, it was doing pretty well online as well. I was going to different shows, and I then reached out to Shark tank and I was able to get on the show just six months into the life of the company so got on there got offers from all five sharks and then it just took off from there that's incredible okay we were just talking this wasn't even supposed to be part of the interview but I'm like I've got to have him explain this because so often I interview athletes and they have this really really tough time after their professional career ends and you have a different mindset with that for so sure talk about that yeah so it's tough it's uh it's a huge transition uh yeah. the same thing happens with our military members as well of course uh so we work with a lot of them now with our company and try to support them but with that you're transitioning from something that you've known your whole life you've done your whole life that's your identity and now it's not anymore so uh for me i just stayed busy that was my way to deal with it yeah. my wife started her own business my third year three different teams three different cities she wanted to find a way to work from home and she did I realized there was a lot of potential there. I started working with her right when I was done playing and just grinding it out, starting a whole new business, working probably 100 hours a week. And uh, we became this house on our street because we work out of our house where people would walk, or walk by and drive by and take pictures of our front porch because there's just packages stacked up to, <laughs> That's like, awesome. really over the door handle. So uh, pretty cool, but I just stayed busy and that was my best yeah. way of dealing with that transition. Oh, well, it's incredible to have seen your, you know, just really two different types of success. Now you recently did this Guinness World Record attempt here locally. How did it go? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, we rented out the local stadium. We wanted to do a fundraiser for our local youth program. Yeah. And at the same time, we wanted to make some noise. So we did this world record breaking event. We brought in Guinness Book of World Records and uh, we broke a record for the most protein shakers shaken in a <laughs> relay uh, at one time. So pretty cool. We ended up having 355 people come out and shake a bottle. You had to shake for 10 seconds and then the next person had to shake for 10 seconds and it just kept going down. Uh, kind of like snaked around the entire stadium, but uh, we set a new record. Okay, is that what the belt is from? Yeah, so we got the we got the championship belt here. Yes. Uh, so all custom out. It's a it's one of our partners. It's Cardillo weight belt, and uh, he made us a custom laser engraved belt. We got the Guinness on it. We have the charity, uh, the protein company that we worked with is Rise. It's actually a local company here as well. Rise supplements. They had a cinnamon toast protein, which was oh, unreal. Yeah. We have the the local youth program on here, and then on the backside, he's got it all decked out with what it really means to set a world record so oh, that's pretty incredible. pretty cool championship belt right here and I bet Dragon Youth Football was really appreciative of having having you guys along absolutely right? and that stadium was just it, it's amazing it's amazing coming here from Buffalo New York sure seeing a stadium that rivals a college stadium uh, up in the north so uh, pretty impressive what the high schools are able to get done here <laughs> and for those of you who need the ice shaker this is what it looks like we will link it up on our website cw33.com this is the Gronk 87 version but they have a lot of different versions as well also an up-and-coming partnership for licensed NFL products we'll put all the details on our website cw33.com